do one. Right, so you can seriously turn away Brad Pitt? Well, you could use my own discretion. So a Hollywood A-lister walks through the door, no problem, but your mum, your mum and my mum... Well, can slum it in the Rovers. Or stay at home and learn about the price of your children. Oh, my mum is obsessed with your children. Yeah, mine too. Spooky! <laughs> Right, he's stopping right there. Surprising. Just grabbing my little pearls. One hand. Yeah, of course he will. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. Peter? Where did he disappear to? Oh, he's uh, meant to be in some bloke with a drink problem. He's with him now. And your big night? Well, he stayed for a couple of hours. Yeah. He's just sort his priorities out. <laughs> Come on, come into town, you boring workaholic. No, 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 I'm fine. Look, you go, I can manage. Come on, I've got me disco date. <laughs> I don't pretend he didn't say that. No, do you know what? I just want to go home and have a soak in the bath. Oh, boring. Knackers. <laughs> Group hug. Come on, everybody. Oh. Group hug. <laughs> We are officially brilliant. Ask my friend, Trish Brooks Benson. <laughs> Ooh, well, Weatherfield Gazette, well done. <laughs> yeah, we're McCarthy Networks. McCarthy Networks. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah. Hey, Rob wants a glitter ball for the bar. Oh, don't say that to a nutter like him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did it. Yeah. I've never been so glad to see such a mess. Bit overwhelming, though. Do you know what? I'm disappointingly sober. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. You've got <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, you prop Peter up. Peter props up some stranger. Who props you up? I ask you the same question. Oh, he's got his serious face on. The thought of seeing you every day helps me get up in the morning. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. So you wanted the truthful answer. I do. And I don't. You're magnificent. Stop it. I can't. You know, I'd never throw you away again. I'd like to take that stupid kid I was when I was 19. And slap him round his stupid oh. room. Sorry about that. Let the hoover on. I've gone a bit OCD with the floor and it costs an arm and a leg. Nick, have you seen a mobile phone anywhere? Uh, no. Uh, I'll have a look if you like. It's Debling. It's got two charms in it. Both of miniature handbags, sterling silver. It's in a mock crock, hot pink Vera Tan case. Classy. Do you know what? I think somebody should invent a silent vacuum cleaner, go on Dragon's Den, do something useful for once. Yeah, they clean up. Ba boom. My whole life is in that phone. It's like losing a limb or something. <gasps> Panic over. Nice one. Okay, thanks everybody. Um, cheers, etc. <laughs> Yes, here. Nanai! Ah! You want a chip? No, I don't want a chip. You want a chip? <laughs> no, I don't. Cheers, etc. What is that girl on? Yeah? What have we done? What, those two? Crikey. I mean, I've got a lot of time for Jason, but he puts the G in Gormless and Rosie Webster doesn't even know we exist. It could have been Peter at the door. Yeah, but it wasn't. I'm engaged! I know! What was I thinking? All that champagne on an empty stomach was just asking for trouble. Huh. Thanks. Bonking a colleague on a barroom couch. Oh, hold on. Ex-husband, we didn't bonk. We made love. Please. You look completely horrified. I can't believe I've cheated on Peter. Yeah, but doesn't that tell you something? Yeah, it does. Not to drink on an empty stomach, not to confuse love with lust. Yeah, but the two are mutually exclusive. I need to get home. Oh, oh, oh not like this, you don't. No, no, no. But you had all this planned, didn't you, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me back to rights. Arrange for Peter to be indisposed and force to be poured champagne down your neck. You couldn't wait to get that bottle open no, quick enough. I'm not playing this game. All that flannel toasting me. Yeah. It was all just foreplay. That's completely untrue. This isn't real. 
This is all just that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because Peter gives good real, doesn't he? That time he burnt his flat down now, that was pretty real. Peter hasn't had a drink since the 12th of February. Yeah, but there's always tomorrow and the next day. I've got a great life with Peter and Simon. I know it might seem boring to oh, you. Oh, no, alcoholic arsonists aren't boring at all. Do you know what? I like ironing Simon's shirts on a Sunday night. I like seeing his five little shirts hanging in his wardrobe on the hangers. Saturday morning swimming. Saturday afternoon pictures. He still jumps in our bed to wake us up. No, you're not marrying Simon. <laughs> you're marrying his charity case, Dad. This is me resigning. Oh, this is you running away. You wanted tonight as much as I did. I had more dignity when I judged by the other one. Back there. Let's just leave me alone. I've always loved you. Man and boy. We can have the most wonderful life together. No, I am marrying the charity case. And if tonight's taught me anything, it's how much it means to me. It's worth ten of you. Half an hour ago, you were screaming in ecstasy. Ah! Thank you for the biggest week of color. It's the waiting that's getting to him. Can't be easy for him. So if it went well, why the face? One bottle of champagne too many? <laughs> Probably. Seemed like a good idea at the time, eh? Bet Leanne feels the same. Boiled eggs are horrid. How can you say that? Boiled eggs are the best. They're baby chickens. Are they egg? They're only baby chickens if there's a daddy hen. You can't have daddy hens. It's like saying daddy cows or daddy mummy. You can't have a daddy mummy. <laughs> no. Well, what did you say it for then? You're just be silly now. I don't know. Daddy mummy. You'll be saying daddy hens next. But it was Rosie herself. I already told you I resigned. You can't. You need to work a month's notice. You'd actually owe me to that? Yeah, I'll hold you to anything that meant you couldn't stop seeing me. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me fall for you? You already have. You were always full of yourself. If not for me, then for the business. We've worked hard for this. You've worked hard for this. Too hard just to walk away. You know what I'm walking away from. You're totally overreacting. No, I'm not. I've just seen sense, that's all. I should have seen this coming a long time ago. I should never have got involved with you. Just stop the bad. Just hire somebody else. And how are you going to explain this away to Peter? Explain what to me? What's going on? And Coronation Street is back in half an hour. Leanne's threatening to quit. Since when? Since he started chucking his weight around, playing the big I am. I thought he was sick, he'd get over it. You're having a pop at her because she had a day off. We've only just opened. Yeah, and who was that down to? Leanne. Peter, just leave. Listen, man, I want to tell you something. You need her more than she needs you, okay? There's no argument there. So, apologize. I'm sorry, Leanne. I was out of order. Just forget it. Just move on, shall we? I'll see myself out. How bloke. It's unbelievable. Peter, you shouldn't have interfered. I was just looking out for Yeah, you. I know, and I appreciate it, but I can fight my own battles. What am I supposed to do? Just stand back and let him take advantage? It won't happen again. No. I tell you what, it better not. You've got my word. Right. Hey. The semi-conscious. I didn't expect you in. Well, after the scene you made earlier, I didn't have much choice, did I? Maybe, uh, overreacted. What you did is almost ruin everything. You know, these books are already in a mess. We've only been open five minutes. Office, now. Hmm, well, I think we all know where's the trousers in that relationship. Do you have to speak to me like that in front of the Oh, staff? give it a rest, Nick. I said I'm sorry. That was for Peter's benefit, not mine. I meant it. <laughs> Whatever. How was he after I left? Well, aside from thinking I'm a mug, he didn't suspect anything, if that's what you're getting at. What'd you tell her? 
The same thing I'm telling you. It won't happen again. See, there you go. Making all the decisions. Nick, this isn't funny. I need you to see sense. The joinery has a future. We don't. I love my business. But I love you more. <sighs> if you can't handle that, that's your problem. I told her. Did Nick say that to you? Oh, yeah. Numero uno, that's me, you know. And what's the state of play now? I told him it was a one-off. How did you take it? Oh, you didn't. May as well have been speaking in Russian for all the impression it made. Well, OK, that makes things a bit tricky. Just a touch. Are you gonna quit? No. No, I'm not. I mean, why should I? I killed myself to make that bar happen. <laughs> Listen, you, you're preaching to the choir here, but come on. I saw the tension between you two. Something's got to give. Well, no. We're just going to have to get through it our way. I mean, I know it's going to be difficult, but... No, I can't run away, Cal. I'm not this time. I always run away. No. Do you understand? Like you said, women like us don't do easy. Bottom line, I'm here for you. Whatever. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Leanne's leading me astray. <laughs> Just letting off a bit of steam. Oh, uh, she's been telling you about the grief Nick's been giving her. Oh, Peter, I've sorted it. Just leave it, yeah. Oh, sorry. So, had a good night then, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered, in fact, wasn't it? But all good things must come to an end, so... Are you, uh, all right for driving home? Yeah, of course. I've had one drink all night. Ask Leanne if you don't believe me. Yeah. Why do you think I'm in this state? Mm. Mm. We should do this more often, you know. Yeah, definitely. Feature-length DVD exclusive Coronation Street and Knight's Tale is available to buy right now. Okay, everyone, brace yourselves, because if last night...